Hey everyone out there in the land of YouTube, this is Annette Dion. I am the host and founder of the Psychic News Network. I have made my way down to the wharf and I have a makeshift kind of thing happening here because <laughs> I forgot my my camera stand so I I got a, a one that was on sale for 10 bucks so so here we are just right up the street and uh I was looking for a spot and the, the tripod is literally rigged up on a lobster trap <laughs> so it's like here's my little <laughs> <laughs> this is what I've stuck my my new tripod stand right there in the lobster trap. Anyway, only on the Psychic News Network. Um, in a little bit. Oh, I have time. Okay, we have our grassroots of democracy discussion meeting tonight, and so um, and right now it's six oh five Eastern time. Today is August sixteenth or seventeenth. I really don't know it's it's I think it's the 17th and we have a lot of catching up to do even though it's only been less than a day than a full day I have my uh, John Holland cards here and so I'm gonna just pull some cards about a few things and the one thing I want to ask that people have been wanting to know is if Donald Trump is going to actually be on the ballot in November of 24 Okay, so I'm going to pull one card about that. Is Donald Trump going to be on the ballot in 24? We have the waiting game. It's going to be a long time before we have the answer to that question. So I recommend that you don't like wait and, you know, every day in the near future think, oh, today's the day. He's going to be off the ballot that you don't get into all that because you're just going to feel like you're waiting forever. And I would recommend just continuing to visualize that you don't want him on the ballot, that he's not on the ballot. So I have the waiting game. I'm gonna pull two more cards about that. So the question is, is Donald Trump going to be on the ballot for president? Oh, what a horrifying thought. Two more cards about that. No, the her this is the equivalent of the hermit card. No, he'll be all alone. The firm foundation indicates that our constitution will hold strong. That indicates the 14th amendment. So I would say it's gonna be a while and I have the moving on card too. So I would say it's gonna be a while before we actually have an answer to the question as to whether Trump would be on the ballot in 24. But those cards indicate no especially since I got the moving on. And then I also got the memories of love card, which is like all the Trumpsters, all the love they had for Trump will be a memory. So there we go. That's a pretty good answer to that question. Um, consistently around what's going on with Trump right now, I've been getting the hermit card and the let's see, the other card I keep getting for Trump is a chariot card, which means things are gonna happen quickly. I often get the justice card. There's one other, I'm trying to remember which one comes up frequently. The fool card comes up frequently around him. Uh, so I definitely get a no that he will not be on the ballot. And the firm foundation card indicated that it was uh, constitutionally related. Like our country was founded on the United States constitution and all the all the drama that we're going through right now, believe it or not, I found a chair that was just right here. <laughs> Meant to be. All the drama that we're going through right now is causing us for the first time in my lifetime anyway, to really take a long, hard look at the United States Constitution and our justice system and to, to really fix what's not working. To really address what's not working, to address what needs to be stronger, what needs to be reinforced. For instance, uh, the whole idea that Mike Pence, for example, the whole idea that he could have changed the election, he could have flipped it to Trump, was not 
that clear in the Constitution or wherever that's written somewhere in the, the laws of you know the United States and our democracy so you might know more about exactly where that is but it wasn't clear so they you know the fascists in 2020 the insurrectionists uh, you know in our government tried to finagle that among other people tried to finagle that to get people to believe that Mike Trump could have flipped the election <laughs> Mike Trump <laughs> he might as well have been that Mike Pence could have flipped the election it wasn't clear so uh, that got that got further clarified I'll have to look that up and see when that was might have been last year that they kind of strengthened and clarified that no the vice president is only in a kind of a ritualistic role in the certification of a presidential election and that's it you know it was, people were confused about it obviously because trump was confusing them about it and getting everyone to sign on to that when it wasn't actually the, the case so what we're going through right now is actually forcing the united states if we want to remain a democracy and i think that's unanimous i think we do i think we like having rights i do i think i could do this in north korea <laughs> <laughs> you think I could be on the wharf doing a tarot reading on a political matter in Russia? I don't think so. So yeah, we want to keep our democracy, so we will strengthen it. Let's see how Mike Pence is doing, speaking of Mike Pence. I had a meeting with my uh, landlady today. I had a pleasant meeting. And um, there's a delay on my move, but that, that could be a good thing. So um, I'm not going to move until like December. At first I thought I was going to lose my new space, but uh, I, uh, I'm not going to lose my new space. I was reassured. Mike Pence. There's a concert going on tonight and uh, kind of looked like it was going to get rained out, but nope, just overcast. Mike Pence. Mike Pence is also standing alone. He doesn't really have very much support. I'm not really sure why he's running for president. He's kind of a bore. This is about Mike Pence. He's kind of a bore. He, so the reason that Pence is running for president and he's not gonna make it onto the ballot. And tomorrow night on our uh, PNN Friday Night Live party, we will look at any other candidates that may be uh, on the ballot besides Trump, who I don't see on the ballot. Someone had asked a, a while back, um, who else might run for president? And at that time, maybe six months ago, I felt like the Republicans were looking at somebody else to run for president who was kind of an unknown, who was really not in the public eye that much. And we'd be kind of like it's a bad example but when sarah palin when, when uh john mccain picked sarah palin kind of like that feeling like what who is this person there's gonna be i feel somebody's gonna be on the on the ballot from the republican side that we don't really expect but i don't see that it's trump as far as pence running for president he's he's all alone he doesn't have any support really and <laughs> Of course I get the boredom card. He's not, you know, he he's kind of bored, Mike Pence. Or he's boring, I would say. And uh, maybe he's bored of himself too. And the financial and material changes. He's Mike Pence is kind of running for president for this reason. He wants to be kind of famous. And if he doesn't run for president, he would just kind of drift into the, you know, into the ethers with, and just become kind of, um, Kind of fade into oblivion sort of and he didn't want that so um i feel like it's better for him financially because i have the material harvest so i know he's trying to sell books and when i think about mike pence i think of him selling you know evangelical religious books so he's not really running for president to be president he's running for president mike pence is to stay relevant in his mind that keeps him relevant so he must have a boring life. I can't believe I found this chair. It was just right here. <laughs> it's not the most comfortable spot, but it would have been worse without a chair. 
I don't like it. Maybe I'll take it. Someone just left it here. Okay, let's see what's going to happen um, with the people in uh, Georgia, the grand jury, the names have been doxxed, and uh, the sheriff in Georgia is is not happy about how people are acting. Um, whoever knew we had so many violent, vitriolic people in America? Well, at least they're coming out of the woodwork. Like I said, like I said about January 6th, the insurrection caused all the major players in the domestic terrorist organizations that are, that are the largest ones. The insurrection caused us to see who they were because they were on camera. They were taking pictures of themselves. So we're finding out more and more about this segment of the population that has been there all along that's very uh, violence-minded and, um, and, and kind of lost, because you have to be kind of lost to be resorting to violent words and violent thoughts. Uh, but they, they're, they're not underground anymore, they're more visible. And actually, the woman who got arrested after she threatened Judge uh, Chutkin's life, and they come up with the most horrible possible slang words and and things that they're be that they accuse them of that they make up lies of it's just the worst it's bottom of the barrel stuff um so i'm going to ask about the grand jury in georgia if they'll be safe because i know that's on a lot of people's minds it's on my mind and remember before if you watched uh, i i saw security in georgia being like the equivalent of what the security was for Joe Biden's inauguration, which was like, it looked like a war zone. Remember that? The shadow side is showing. Um, so I'm asking about the people in Georgia that are on the grand jury. Will they be safe? Are they safe? Kids ride, riding bikes in the parking lot. I like to see kids outside playing. Will they be safe? They understand that they're making sacrifices. The people in the grand jury in Georgia. I do see, it looks like I, I kind of sense one of the jurors on the grand jury in Georgia asking to be dismissed. And uh, I think we will hear about that. I just see one. I don't know how many are on the grand jury. You guys probably know that. It's, this is exactly what I was talking about. We'll see the shadow side. They will see the shadow side. The people in the grand jury in Georgia will will be very clearly see the shadow side of, of some of the American people. But they will make that sacrifice. This also indicates I'm feeling that somebody else gets shot because of making threats. Like, like really serious threats. I mean, it has, to be, it has to be a really serious threat to the life of a law enforcement officer, of the FBI. It has to be a really serious threat for them to shoot somebody dead like they did the guy in Utah. But they had to. He was going to go shoot the president. He had, every, he had all the munition. He had everything that he needed to do that. So fulfillment of wishes is that they will be safe. I do see one juror asking to be dismissed. They know they're making a sacrifice and it's showing America the shadow side of America. And believe it or not, I feel like that's going to lead to more pressure on media to be honest. Uh, and on that note, I'm going to read about Fox. Because this lying, 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 I mean, people are dying because of the lying. I can't, I can't help myself. <laughs> I'm a songwriter. People are dying because of the lying. Because, you know, some people, you know, it just resonates, that anger resonates and then they, they get violent. So, Let's look at Fox. 
I want to just see if what I'm picking up on will lead to actual change. The seagull saying, yes, yes, it will. Because I do see another fatality and it feels like somebody who goes after somebody with, you know, threatening to assassinate. And it feels like somebody going after uh, like a judge or something like that. Judges have been shot before. Not just in foreign countries. In this country. So I'm asking about Fox. Is Fox going to, to cut it out? Because they'll be forced to. Enough people will be affected in the heart by what you know, by what's going on, will we'll come with heartfelt pleading to shut down the lies that are, cre that are causing violence. This has been going on for way too long. This is about Fox. There's somebody, believe it or not, there's somebody on the staff at Fox, maybe more than one person, who knows better and his, who's gonna speak out against these violence-producing lies and conspiracy theories. And Fox will meet its destiny. I see billions of dollars um, being forked out in lawsuits and uh, they will be defeated. Fox will de be defeated. I mean, this is gonna take some time, obviously, but it's not years. Fox will be defeated. Fox will have to, they're gonna have to stop it. They're gonna have to tamp it down. And I feel like they'll be instructed by the federal government. Um, we, we definitely need to get the FCC back. Let's read about that. Will the FCC come back? We're going to talk about the press at our meeting at Grassroots of Democracy. Join us, grassrootsofdemocracy.com. Are we going to have fairness in the press again? Because we used to have that. And when we stopped having that, after a few decades or however long it's been, this is where we are. With people dying because violent people believe stupid lies. Well, so the question is, will we ha have something like the FCC back again? Back, you know, working. So what's broadcast is regulated. It has to be regulated. We tried this, it didn't work. We, we tried not having regulation, it didn't work. It's in divine order. We're, 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 we're waning nostalgic for the time that people had decency and they told the truth because they were forced to be honest in the media. It was the, the law. And the fulfillment of wishes means we will get something like an FCC back it might be the actual FCC with teeth we will get that it's it's in the universal divine order and you know I hate to say it but I really do feel that with all the calamities from global climate change that are on their way and you know here I am with ocean's edge we're vulnerable right this little harbor is very vulnerable um, I'm gonna read about hurricane season right now it's not good Places that are more vulnerable, um, like the southern states, like Louisiana and Georgia, and um, obviously Florida. It's going to be rough. So all these disasters are actually going to... You know, it's like when you really have to be serious. When you're in a crisis, you can't mess around with this, uh, you know, stuff like people lying and just being unreasonable and um, stuff that we, we just don't have time for this ridiculousness because our lives are on the line with global climate change. They really are. So I'm, I'm reading about hurricane season, which is just about to start up in a week or so. And it goes to like the end of October. Okay. Hurricane season is going to show us, yeah, the shadow side of human beings. 
global climate change hurricane season is going to show us the shadow side of human beings. I see people like Ron DeSantis having no power. No power. I feel like he'll get ousted. He's going to deal with this so badly. Stand your ground. It's going to make us stronger. Hurricane season is going to make us stronger. There's no saying. There's no cl climate change. There's none of that anymore. That's not working. It's not going to be tenable to think that global climate change isn't happening. I know. Sensible people understand that it's, it's, it's a thing. Uh, the crown chakra is indicative of we will seek higher wisdom this hurricane season. <laughs> we'll seek our higher wisdom this hurricane season. I hear a chorus of seagulls. Just while I was finagling the camera and everything, the, um, the schooner was right here. And then you could see another schooner that was behind me. All right, um, let's, let's ask, um, let's ask about Donald Trump. You know, it happened really fast. Like I said, there was a big shift and it didn't take a psychic to feel it. Oh, maybe, maybe. If you're sensitive, you felt it. There was a big shift after the Fonnie Willis indictment. Um, and Trump's uh, popularity has dropped and more people in America don't want him to be president than do. I mean, it's 53%, but it's something. I'm gonna read about people, uh, is that gonna continue? Where people just want nothing to do with him? Victory and success, yes. He's going down, down, down. Trump is going down, down, down. Yeah. This is, this is the triumph of truth, of actual truth. And Donald Trump is trapped in fear. It's just a matter of time. He's, this is the second time I got the waiting game. It's gonna feel like we're just in a, in a slow slog, but rest assured things do feel like they go slow because we live so in such a fast way being on uh being online all the time contributes quite a bit to that that we go so fast that we think that um you know trump is going to disappear really fast well <laughs> we've learned that it doesn't happen fast enough but he's he's finished he's done let me pick one last card and uh, then off we'll go. We're taking authority over our democracy. We're about to get much, 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 much stronger as a nation in our democracy. Do not fret. Just be patient. <laughs> this concludes my shorter PNN pre-recorded video on August 17th. I believe it's the 17th. Yeah, that's right. On August 17th, 2023. From the wharf in Gloucester, Mass. Me and the seagulls and the boats wish you a good day or good evening, whatever the case may be. And uh, please join Grassroots of Democracy. Go to grassrootsofdemocracy.com. We meet on Thursday nights for a discussion group. It's a really good opportunity to talk about what's going on with one another. And then on Saturdays, we do a work session. We have a little civics lesson, and then we do a work, we, we do some work, you know, signing petitions and that kind of thing, writing emails, whatever we want to do uh, on Saturdays. And on Tuesdays, we have a 20 on Tuesdays, which is a guided meditation for a healed America every single Tuesday. Go to grassrootsofdemocracy.com. And I would love to do a reading for you. So uh, psychicannettedion.com is where you go for that. And also uh, check out my class, Seriously Psychic, which is coming up. It's going to start on September 23rd. I had it set for an earlier date, but I moved it today to the 23rd. It's a six, six Saturday uh, course.
seriously psychic. All right, namaste, I'll see you soon. Be well.